and another going into the identification pile. So on this right side of the harness, I pretty much got most of them. Let's see, there's this green one still, which is going to the identification pile. So all of these wires, for the most part, you might still find a few stragglers, are going to the identification pad or to the left side of the harness. Here's another wire for the identification pile. So now we have a pretty sizable chunk of wires here to, to identify. They terminate at the uh, ECU, but we're not sure what they are for yet. So some of them we are, but for the most part, we don't. So just gonna kind of tidy those up just a little because we're gonna tear into those in just a little while. Okay, so now the harness is free for the most part of any extra wires. We have taken most of the wires out of the harness that don't go to anything. So, uh, almost, here we go, there's one last one, and this ground actually connects to the main harness, or ignition relay, we're going to just cut that and ground it later. As far as the uh, relays go, some of the, the extraneous extra relays, I'm gonna use these for fan relays right here. And um, this guy right here is actually the uh, starter relay. Um, you can see this big, thick gauge, red and yellow wire Ys into the computer and goes to the starter trigger right here. The only reason I know that is because I've done so many harnesses. Um, another good indication is if we follow the Y, it actually goes to where the starter plugged in for the starter solenoid. Now, what the computer needs to see is, hey, we're starting right now. So when you hit the, the key to start, this wire gets triggered and tells the computer, hey, we're starting, load load a special fuel map, uh, timing um, profile so that I can start easily. That's, that's, all, that's all this wire does. So this is actually going to connect to the VW starter solenoid as well. But this side, I'm just gonna cut. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut it right around here and leave this long wire here for now. Take my relays and put them in a box for later. So that's it for now on this segment. I am going to go ahead and um, box this up and prepare for the next segment on another day. 
So we'll see you then. So to wrap up this segment of the uh, wiring harness series, um, let's just go take a tour of what we have left. We have the ECU connector that goes to the uh, bundle of wires that we're going to identify that had cut ends in the harness, but ultimately led back to the ECU. If we follow that around, we come to a big T, basically. Right and left side. The right side over here goes to the Subaru Select Monitor cable. This is, uh, you probably want to keep this. It's not necessary, but you probably want to keep it. This is for shops that have select monitor capabilities. You can take it in there and they can do some troubleshooting. This is the ground side for the test mode connector. And then we follow around here. We have the main ignition relay and the Subaru fuel pump relay. And we have the OBD2 connector. We come back to that T. Okay, now we have the engine side. We have the engine connectors, these guys right here. We have the O2 sensors. We have the um, um, the igniter right here. And we have the cam and crank sensors connector right here. And this guy right here is the start signal, so the starter solenoid. And we have the mass airflow sensor and the pressure sensors. So. Most harnesses are basically just like this. They may have one or two more things, but you know, this is basically it. So that wraps up this segment. And um, we'll continue the next segment with um, kind of forming how we want the harness to look ultimately.